Let's run deep. Ask me a question. What what tips can you give about how to maintain flow, smooth transition, and rhythm while giving a massage without being choppy and all over the place? Look forward to your response at the earliest convenience. Um, the first off is when you're adding oil. Um, some books will actually tell you to just place your hand on the ba on their back or somewhere on their body, then pump pump the oil in there and then rub it together like this and then eventually massage. I myself, I tell my students to um, make sure you have a little bit of oil in your hand, start massaging, and then pump with this other hand, get a little bit of oil in your hand, keep massaging, and then massage like this, warm, that's the way of warming it up, and then you're eventually gonna add it onto the body then. And the nice thing about that is uh, a lot of times the clients don't even know what you did then, so it's given, um, it's having them more relaxed during the time because, again, if you don't have the flow with massage, sometimes you can wake them um, in, They go in and out of sleep, so you, you might wake them up a little bit, so you don't want to startle them at all then. Um, another thing with flow is, uh, again, with massage, you want to perform each technique at least three times. But it's the transition from one technique to the next. So let's say you're performing ephthalage. Sorry, <laughs> a little early today. Ephthalage, like this and then eventually kind of make it into a petrissage move right away then. But so many um, people will go, let's say they'll go like this, and then they'll stop for a moment, and then they'll get the petrissage going or something. So again, it's just one flow after another. Another option too is with the draping. I myself, I like to start the client supine. Um, I know people will perform it other ways too. But with that, what I'll do is I'll drape the breast tissue to start with. So you drape that to start with, and then you just bring the, the sheet up to just below the breast tissue for a woman. And then when you're ready for the abdominal region, you can just pull it down so you don't, it doesn't waste any time. And you still, still get a good flow with it to them. And to have their arms exposed to start with too. Um, so, so they're just tucked underneath like this, their arms exposed, um, the breast tissue covered, and their abdominal still covered. But again, when you're done, you can just um, pull it down right to the right to the waistline when you're ready to go that area. So the trick is when you're transitioning one part of the body to the next, you always want to make sure that you um, uh, you, you want to make make sure you keep that contact all the time because again, the client's going to go, go in and out of sleep and you don't want to startle them at all. Because the only time you really lose some contact is when you're flipping them over and um, you're still going to try to keep contact as much as possible or at least keep your hip on the table um, so your legs or something like that so they're just touching the table so they know that you're still there then so um, for the whole transition process then but again um, the more fluid you can be the more relaxed it can be and the uh, less uh, startled or uh, jerky kind of techniques then too but the trick again is to always keep that, that movement going all the time as much as possible um, because again it's going to relax them a lot more then. So hopefully that helps and any other comments or questions or anything else uh, leave it in the comments section below and we can help this person out as much as possible then. So hopefully that helped then. Thanks.